Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner, available for code reviews and on-site training. In this episode, I want to cover a little corner of the standard library that I realized people weren't familiar with, and that's standard complex. Now this one is almost certainly going to be a short one, and I know I say that from time to time, it ends up being longer than I expected, but here's standard complex. It's in the, well, perhaps not surprising, complex header. There you go. Now this is complex numbers. That's all that it is. You've gotten a real and an imaginary part, and you can specify if you want float double, long double, whatever. These uh, specializations exist for representing and manipulating complex numbers, it says. Can we make a complex of int? I don't know, we can give that a try in a moment. But complex has been around since the beginning of the C++ standard library. It's one of the original types that was supported in C++ 98. It has continued to evolve very slowly, but it is not a completely forgotten corner of the standard library. So if we look at our definition here, we can actually see that operator equals and operator not equals were actually removed in C++20. And if you've been paying attention, then you might have an idea as to why these were removed in C++20. The not equals operator is now synthesized from the equals equals operator in C20. So they removed explicit definitions of things where they could and took advantage of the fact that we've got this ability to explicitly default operators, comparison operators, in C20 due to the spaceship operator additions in C20, which you can check out my other episode on the spaceship operator, if you haven't already seen that one. So we can see that these things were removed and some things were changed and added in C14. For example, here we can see that we got const expert support for comparison operators in C14 for equals and not equals. And in C14, we got user defined literals. So you can actually do things like this to express that you want a one plus two imaginary, a complex number expressed as one might expect to see an imaginary number expressed in a math setting in C14. And we got const expert support for getting the real and imaginary components in C14. And interestingly, as I've pointed out many times before on the show, some things didn't get const expert support nearly as early as they could have, but we got const expert mathematical operator support in C20. So, as you can see, things have continued to grow and develop. However, you might notice that things like sine and power and cosine aren't going to have const expert support, and that is probably because they rely on the C standard library functions for these things. Note CMath here. And CMath does not yet have const expert support for things like sine and cosine. So hopefully in C23 we'll get that, and then complex will have another round of updates to do to it for more const expert support. It does seem though that since we have this up here, we have to kind of play with this complex support. Let's look at our constructors. And these constructors were made const expert in C14. Although interestingly, the copy constructor and this constructor, float and double, are C11, but for the base template, the non specialized template, these things weren't made const expert until C14. Perhaps there was some reason for it. I have no idea. So 
so we can get access to the real or imaginary parts of the complex number with no problem here and that's a double and just for the fun of it let's see if we can make an integer based complex number there we go so i don't tend to do a lot of complicated math computational kinds of things in my c work but i have used standard complex several times in various implementations of my Mandelbrot renderer, which I covered in the parallel algorithms episode. So you can see other use of standard complex there. So if you have any use for complex numbers in C++, make sure you check this out. It is updated. It should be efficient. It does have constructs for support. And as always, thank you for watching this episode of C++ Weekly. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up.